What's up, Pass for Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell Tabata hit workout. The only equipment that you'll need for today's routine are dumbbells. And you may want to have a few pairs of dumbbells on hand so that you can switch up the weight as needed. We're going to perform today's routine Tabata style. So that means we're going to do each exercise four rounds, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. And you can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some modifications. If you're ready to go, let's do this. y'all let's move into that warm-up first one is going to be an overhead squat now don't worry about making this one look pretty because chances it's are it's not gonna be <laughs> ours aren't either so let's take that pressure off to begin with feet are gonna be shoulder width apart hands and arms are going overhead straight arms with our palms facing in now we're gonna perform a squat keeping those arms up working at our hips getting a full range of motion squat and then back up on this one, we are gonna try to keep our back straight, keep those arms up and try your best not to bend over too much. And also try not to come up on your toes. We wanna drive through our, what they call your midfoot. So we don't wanna fall back on our heels. And like Claudia said, we don't wanna go forward on our toes either. Let's breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. And if it feels more comfortable to maybe have a little bit of a wider stance in your overhead squat, you can move your feet if you need to. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. This one's helping your shoulders warm up, your lower body, your back, spine, even your ankle mobility on this one. Let's do this one for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, all right, nice feeling, work. feeling warm already. We're gonna move to the floor for the next one, little compound move. Let's go ahead and squat down, hands on the floor. We're gonna get into a high plank position. Now we're gonna do a combo move of a downward dog plus a frogger step. I'm gonna perform a downward dog by pulling back on my hips. Feel that stretch in your shoulders, hamstrings. And now I'm gonna come back forward to a frogger step, right foot by my right hand. And I'll even kind of push out on that hip a little bit using my knee and elbow. And then step back, left foot by my left hand. And again, kind of driving out on that hip. Step back into the high plank. And now we're going to repeat that downward dog. Hips go back, hamstrings, calves. Feel that stretch in the shoulders. And then back to high plank, frogger step. And if you feel like you can't quite get your foot all the way up to your hand, if you're somewhere right here in between, that's completely okay. Taking just a few seconds for each individual step. Not a race, this is a warm up. This is a great overall total body move. We're getting everything from your hips, shoulders, spine, hamstrings, calves, all in this one exercise here. Let's continue this one for 10 more seconds. for three, two, one, and zero. Excellent work. All right, let's come on back up to our feet for our last warm-up move. We're gonna perform a straight leg kick plus twist. Let's start with our feet shoulder width apart. Straight arms are out to our sides. We're gonna bring our left straight leg up and twist into it. Return back down, right straight leg up and twist into it. And if you're somewhere in between, again, then you can definitely do a low kick. Whatever your flexibility and mobility will allow you to do. And balance, right? It's gonna oh, work yeah. your balance as well. For sure. 
This one's going to warm up your thoracic spine as well as your hamstrings, back, shoulders, chest. We like to choose moves that are hitting multiple muscle groups at the same time. And getting our heart rate up here. Warming up our body for that work that is to come. And it's coming. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, it's showtime, folks. Let's Hope you're ready it. for this. So as I had mentioned earlier, we're gonna perform today's workout Tabata style. So every exercise we're getting ready to do, we're gonna do, I'm sorry, we're gonna do 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest four times back to back to back. We're gonna yes. need your dumbbells for this first one. We're gonna do a dumbbell push jerk. Two dumbbells required. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, hands up in a rack position, palms facing one another. Every time we're gonna load our legs, we're gonna sit back into a quarter squat, then drive those dumbbells straight overhead and repeat. So we're gonna get as many repetitions in as you can in that 20 second time period. I'm ready. Let's ready? Oh, I was gonna ask oh, yeah. you, okay. You sure? I mean, it's not too late to stop. <laughs> no, we're here, we're ready. Let's go, folks. In three, two, one, let's hit it. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Use those legs to help drive those dumbbells overhead. And get those biceps right by your ears. That's it, finish straight up overhead. In three, two, one, and break. All right, so now it's a quick 10 second break. If you need to adjust your weight on this one, hurry up and do it now, up yep. or down. We're starting in three, two, one, go. Today is all about intensity. You're gonna push yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. That's right. You got 10 more seconds. Come on, let's go. This one's working your legs, your shoulders, triceps, all working at the same time on this one. In three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay. Yeah. Shake them out. Two down, two to go here. That's right. Back to rack position. Let's begin, go. All right, hit it. Like I said, anytime today you need to switch up your weight, feel free to do so. Too easy, increase the weight. Too hard, decrease the weight. Whew. A few more seconds. Come on, push it, push it, push it. And three, two, one, break. Excellent Ooh, job. One more. That's it, that's it. All right, come on. Catch Getting that in the breath. groove now. Getting in the groove. Last one, make a count. And begin. Finishing straight overhead, making sure to use those legs. Don't make your shoulders do all the work, especially right now once we get to the part where it gets harder here at the end for a set. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Next up, we have an upper body, lower body combination move. We have a dumbbell curtsy lunge plus curl. Or a reverse lunge plus a curl. I'm gonna keep my same weight on this one. Starting with my feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna step back and behind and at the same time curl my dumbbells up and return. And I'm going to just step back into a reverse lunge, 90 degree angle on both my front and my back leg. So you decide which variation is more appropriate for you today. Again, here we go. We got 20 seconds of work. In three, two, one, begin. So you're alternating stepping back with right and left legs. Those knees are at a 90 degree angle. My variation requires a little more balance and a little more mobility. So if you lack in either department, go ahead and give that reverse lunge a try. And break. That's it, Ooh. okay, one down, three to go. And on this one, you gotta choose a weight that's appropriate for both your legs and your arms. That's right. And begin. All right, hit it up here. This one's gonna work your hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, biceps, and forearms all at the same time. You will find today is a very efficient workout using a lot of compound moves. And one more. And break. Excellent. Whew. All right, shake them out, shake them out. Halfway through. Two down, two to go. That's right. Keeping that intensity up. And begin. All right, let's go. Keeping that balance. 
making sure that whichever variation you're doing, you're not bouncing that back knee up off the floor. Let's bring it up without bouncing it. If you kind of kiss the ground, that's all right. Not much longer. And three, two, one, break. All right, three oh. down, one to go. Ooh, my quads are screaming. No camera magic today. We're doing it with you, folks. <laughs> and begin. I want you to breathe in on the way down and exhale on the way up. That's right. Let's get that breathing going. Breathe out from the hardest part of the exercise. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath. You will regret it. Whew. And break. All right, very good. I'm gonna increase my weight a little bit for this next one. We're gonna do a dumbbell alternating row. So this one's gonna be mostly for your back. Feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in those knees. We're gonna bend over at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna pull back on my right elbow and then return, left elbow, return. Alternating right and left arms for 20 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Let that one row completely finish before you start the next one. And let that elbow guide back. The elbow pulls back, not your hand. Now make sure you're using proper form. That's right, make sure you're not twisting your shoulders. Your shoulders should remain square. Great point. And break. All right, stand up. Ooh. And this one you're gonna get a little extra credit on your legs. Uh, and even your core just to maintain that position. For sure, and begin. Again, keeping your core tight and engaged. And what does that mean? That means your abs are staying tight, so don't let them get loose on this one. Keep that back straight and breathe. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath here. Like we said, it's a body workout, so the worst time to possible. Hold your breath. And break. Excellent. Whew, shake All those right. arms out. That's two down. Two to go, folks. Let's go, showtime right here. And begin. Let's hit it. Ooh, that 10 minutes, 10 seconds goes by fast. Oh, I know, it feels like three seconds at <laughs> best. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, making sure that we're squeezing that back up at the top. This one's working your lats, as well as your biceps and forearms. A few lats. more seconds left. Three, two, one, zero. All right. All right, just one last one here. One more. One last one. Again, adjust your weight if you need to. And begin. Let's do it. And like I was about ready to say, your lats are that big back muscle underneath your arms. Feel that working to pull up that dumbbell. You can work your lower back too to maintain this position, which is a good thing. You need lower back strength. Oh yeah. Speed, but focusing on form at the same time. And break. All right. All right, we can set our dumbbells down for this next one. We're gonna really get our heart rates up here as if it wasn't already. I'm gonna do a forward and back hop, starting with my feet together. I'm gonna hop forward on the balls of my feet and then hop back, return, forward and back. And my variation is a one, two, three, four, stepping up one, two, stepping back three, four, but always maintaining contact with the ground. So you decide if you want a little uh, more impact variation or no impact variation. 20 seconds, let's do it folks, and three. Two, one. Whichever variation you choose, I want speed right here. Come on, pushing yourself. That's right, low impact does not mean low intensity. Let's see you bring it. Channel your inner athlete on this one. How many can you get in that 20 second time period? And break. All right, 10 seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds to get your life together. <laughs> and Begin. All right, let's hit it. We want light impacts with the ground every single time. The phrase I've been using for over a decade with you all is you're a bouncy ball, not a rock. So I want you to return that energy back into the ground. And three, two, one, break. All right, Woo. two down, two to go. So really focusing on your calves and that agility, as well as of course your cardiovascular system. And begin. All right, let's go, come on. Pump it up, pump it up. Keep that breathing going, stay focused. Stay in the zone right here. Stay in the zone. Let me see what you got, come on. Speed it up. And three, two, one, break. All right, only one Ooh. more of those. Oh, my foot, 
Whew. It's working. Try not to get a cramp. That's all. <laughs> this is a bad time for cramps. No cramps, everybody. And begin. Last one. I don't think they want to see me get down on my knees and massage Ooh. out your calves here oh, on no. camera. No, no gonna, time for that today. Gonna Just got to keep it. going. Not much longer. Come on, almost there, tribe. Ooh. Almost there. Push it, push it, push it. In three, two, one, break. Ah, nice work. We're moving to the floor for the next one, but we do need two dumbbells. We're gonna do a dumbbell push-up plus row, upper body exercise. Let's go ahead and come down and do a high plank position with our hands on those dumbbells. I'm on my feet. I'm on my knees. We're gonna perform a full range of motion push-up all the way down, all the way up, and then pull back on my right elbow, pull back on my left elbow, and back into push-ups. So one, two, three for 20 seconds as many as you can get you decide which one's right for you but we're gonna move either way let's do it folks in three two one let's go and if having dumbbells in your hands is a little too difficult then you can definitely just do this with your body weight yeah you can do the same thing you just pull them back with your hand keep your core tight and engaged try not to rotate on this one folks that's right you're almost there and break all right excellent so work in your chest, shoulders, triceps, back, core, abs, core, that's it. Glutes, and begin. That's it, one down, three to go. And admittedly, this one's a little harder if you have round dumbbells. So if you have more hexagon dumbbells, it's a little easier. Woo. Do not hold your breath. Five more seconds. Almost there, almost there. And break. Excellent. Ooh. Especially when you're in that high plank position, you really gotta focus on your breathing. That's Just, right. Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. Full range of motion on that push-up. Don't give me little half baby push-ups. Go down until those elbows are at a 90 degree angle. And when you do your row, always remember to try to keep your shoulders nice and square. You don't wanna see your upper body rotate. And break. Oh my goodness. Also, especially at this point in time, if it helps a little bit, Ooh. you're doing my variation, you can bring your feet apart just a little bit for extra balance. And begin. Here we go, last one. How many can you get here in 20 seconds? I'm feeling it too, folks. Oh my goodness, my shoulders. Woo. Burnt me out. Burned so good. Not much left. Come on, let's go. In three, two, one and break. Ah. Oh. All right, feels good. Let's go ahead and stand up and we need one dumbbell for this next one. Gonna give our lower body a break, focus on our, sorry, upper body break, focus <laughs> on our lower body. We're gonna do a dumbbell goblet squat plus rotation. One dumbbell, feet or shoulder width apart. Dumbbell up in rack position. I'm gonna sit back, my weight in my hips, full squat on the way up. I'm gonna rotate to my right, back down on my way up to the left. Rotating every time. Here we go. In three, <laughs> two, one. That one got me out of breath. Like I said. Oh yeah. Speaking and at the same time up in a high plank position is hard. All right, on this one I want you to breathe in on the way down. Exhale as you come up and rotate, keeping those abs engaged and break excellent okay one down Whew. three to go relax those shoulders too oh my goodness but get back in that position because we're starting now and go come on this one's going to work your hamstrings which is the back of your legs your quadriceps which is that big thigh muscle as well as your glutes also known as your buttocks getting your core going here a little rotational strength and break. So at the beginning, Ooh. I promised you today was going to be an efficient workout. Oh, yeah. Hope it's living up to that expectation. Get ready because we're starting again. Let's go. All right, two down, two to go. Staying focused on keeping that foot flat as you come down. You're sitting back. Don't go fall on your heels. Don't come forward on your toes. Drive through that midfoot. That's right. And three. Two, one, break. All right, 
Oh my goodness. Three down. My quads. One to go, adjust Ooh. your weight as needed. Again, pushing yourself here. All right, last one, let's go. Right now, begin. And do it. Yep. Come on, heads for trot. How many can you get right here? Last set of these for the day. No holding back. Let it all out. Come on. Keeping good form. Focusing on your breathing. Getting through to the end. And break. All right. <sighs> dumbbell goes down. Whew. No dumbbell for this next one. Another agility move for you next. I'm gonna do a lateral hop side to side. Throwing both feet together. I'm gonna jump to my right, jump to my left, and repeat. And my low impact version is a side to side step. You decide which impact and intensity level is appropriate for you right now. 20 seconds. Let's go, come on, get in the zone. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. It's that point in the workout. You gotta remind yourself, what brought you here today? What is it? Focus on it, use it. And remember, just because I said it's low impact, doesn't mean that it needs to be low intensity. Give it all you got, come on. And three, two, one, break. All right, one down, three to go here. Yep. And either variation, you can push the pace. No reason to hold back. All right, and begin. Come on, let's go. Not holding your breath. I want nice light ground touches here. If you have neighbors underneath you in an apartment building, I don't want them to hear you. Nice and light, returning that energy. Come on. Back into the ground. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Two Ooh. down, two to go. Big deep breaths here. Focus in your zone. All right. And three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Push it, push it, push it. You For my it. side step variation, I like to keep in a little bit of a quarter squat. Just kind of helps move a little faster. And on my variation, I'm keeping a slight bend in my knees. Right, I don't want my legs locked out here. Nope. I want to absorb that impact. And break. Excellent. Okay, Ooh, shake one it more. out. Here we go. Three down. One to go. Come on, come on, come on. How bad do you want it? Right here. All right, we're Think starting. About those goals. Let's go. Right now, go. Focus on those goals. Keep that at your front of your mind throughout your workout. Why are you here? What brought you here today? What's it going to take to accomplish them? Every workout, you're climbing one step, getting one step closer up to achieving that goal. You're doing it right here. And break. Nice job. All right, we need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna do a hollow body dumbbell chest press. I'll show you what that's all about. So whatever weight you would usually use it for a chest press is what I would choose. We're gonna go down to our backs. I'm gonna show you how to set up a hollow body to get your core involved on this one. We're gonna start by bringing your shoulder blades up off the ground, locking your back, lower back to the ground so there's no arch to lock it to the ground. And then I'm gonna extend my straight legs out. And I'm gonna have my knees bent as you see. So the more straight your legs are, harder it is. The more bent, more pressure it takes off your abs and your lower back. And then from this position, now we're gonna chest press. All right, if you're ready to go, let's do it. And three, two, one, begin. So you're gonna have constant pressure on your abs on this one, but do not allow that lower back to come up off the floor. If it starts to, go ahead and bend those knees. It's also try not to have our elbows bounce off of that ground. Yeah, nice and controlled. Not much longer, and break. All right, so you can come down, rest in between, allow those abs and your core to rest in between for a quick 10 seconds. That's right, because we're starting again in three, two, one, begin. All right, excellent. Woo. Breathing through your stomach instead of through your chest, right? So you're actually really getting that core engaged. All right, not much longer. And three, two, break. Oh. Ah, two down, oh. two to go. This one, even though it's working your chest and your triceps, it's almost like you just all core, right? Because it's such a challenging core position to all hold. All right, let's go, begin. Oh, I'm talking too much. Too much talky talky. Too much talky talky, not enough worky worky. Yep, let's go. Working your core, but also working your chest, triceps Ooh. and shoulders. Don't hold your breath again, making sure to breathe. You got it, lower back stays glued. And break. 
Ah, all right. Oh my goodness. One, one more. more. One more, folks. <sighs> oh, enjoy that break because we're starting yeah, in three, two, one, go. And if you're feeling pressure in your neck on this one, go ahead and take your tongue and bring it to the roof of your mouth. Nice little tip on these type of core exercises to relax your neck. Make that core do the work. Not much left. Come on. Push through. How many can you get, driver? Three, here. two, one, and break. Excellent. Oh my All right, gosh. we're coming up to our feet. Don't diddly daddle down there. We gotta come up. Come on now. And we need a light weight for this next one. We're gonna do a dumbbell duffin row is what it's called. A what? Here, a duffin row, <laughs> named after the inventor. All right, shoulders are back, two dumbbells. I want you to take those dumbbells and point them down. See, I'm doing that little point down. There we go. Keep them pointed down. I'm gonna bring my elbows up first, and then I'm gonna flip the dumbbells over and then return down to that same path. Breathe throughout. Woo. Again, it's not gonna take much weight on this one. Don't go heavy. No. All right, three, two, one, begin. Nice upright posture here. This one's gonna work your upper back, your traps, rear deltoids, rotator cuffs, all the above. And if you feel funky on this one, again, don't feel bad about lowering your weight. Doesn't take much. Absolutely, and break. That's it, one if, down, three to go. If you feel like this is something that you need to do with just your body weight, then go ahead and just lose your dumbbells all together. Or water bottles, something like extremely light. But let's go and begin. All right, hit it again. Again, making sure that you're starting with those dumbbells pointed down and they're staying pointed down as you come up. Almost envision like you're pulling a rope. You have rope in your hands. That's right, with a weight in between. Sometimes people will do this set up with like a one kettlebell. And break. One kettlebell oh. with like a, uh, uh, like a, a big band. battling rope or a band holding it. The rest of you feel that weight pulling it down in the middle. And begin, here All we right. go. Keep a good posture on this one. Don't allow yourself to slouch forward. Oh, my shoulders. <laughs> it's working, folks. We're feeling it too, you're not alone. We're feeling it. Thousands, maybe millions of you at home feeling that same burn. And break. But oh. Burn, that's where the change comes from, Man, that challenge. These three pounds feel like 100. Hey, shoot, I'm using five. <laughs> and begin, that breaks over. All right, is this our last one, Claudia? This is our last one. Oh my goodness, what would I do without her, folks? Isn't she amazing? How blessed am I to have a wife that comes on oh camera. Oh my gosh, please stop. And does <laughs> these crazy workouts with me. So thankful for her. Okay, Oh my gosh. I'm done edifying my wife. Let's go, folks. <laughs> and break. <laughs> All right, shoulders are burnt out. I'm gonna be in trouble for Ooh. that later. We need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna do a dumbbell sumo deadlift with the pause and an optional jump. Oh my goodness. You're right, what am That's I doing? A, Losing my mind here, got my well, Maybe you were just hopeful. Okay, Okay. I was. wide stance, two dumbbells, toes pointed out a little bit. I'm gonna sit back, weight in my hips, one 1,000. I'm gonna hold down here, one 1,000, and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna jump. And I'm just gonna come up really quickly, but I'm not gonna leave the ground. You decide if you want to jump or no jump. Ready, set, go. One 1,000, one 1,000. <laughs> and then right into it. Every time, get that nice pause down at the bottom. Sit, pause, explode. Ooh. Sit, pause, explode. You got it. Get the feel of the movement. Not much left here. Decide what's right for you. And break. Uh, all right. Stay right good. where you are. Oh, shake it out. One down, three to go. Big deep breaths here, folks. Starting again in three, two, one, begin. Every time, sitting back. Pause, explode. Somebody tell Claudia to remember to pause. Sorry. There we go, come on. A little Freudian slip. I know that pause is like that little extra part that really gets you. Sitting back, working those hamstrings, glutes, really sitting back. And break. Oh, good. Oh, this is a brain exercise for me. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it is a point in the workout. Oh, you know, yeah. You're lacking blood uh, oxygen flow. Okay, begin, let's go. Ah, here we go. You know what, it doesn't always have to look pretty. You just gotta keep moving. And if you don't feel like you want to jump, but you feel like this is a little too easy, maybe just come up on your toes. Or increase your down. weight and your load. 
That's other right. way too. You make this work out your own, folks. One more. And break. All right, last oh one goodness. here. Burn so Ooh. good, I think it's working. Yep. Hope it's working for you all too. Last one, starting in three, two, one, begin. Let's do it. Breathe on the way down. Or breathe in, I should say. Then exhale as you come up and explode up. 10 more seconds. Sink that breathing to your movement. Who <laughs> almost there, come on. Push through it, folks, push through it. Three, two, one, and break. Nice work. We can put our dumbbells to the side. No weights needed for the next one. We're gonna perform a side plank rotation. So let's come down to the floor. We're gonna come onto our left forearm on our side. I'm gonna come up onto my feet. And I'm going to be on my left knee with my right leg straight out. We're gonna reach through, rotate, and then rotate up, keeping our eyes on our hand. Repeat this move for 20 seconds, and then we'll flip sides. That's right. And three, two, one, and reach through, rotate up. Excellent, keep that core straight. Don't allow your hips to sink on this one. And make sure that your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Great point. Keep it nice and lined up. Not much longer, and three, Two, one, and break. All right, now let's get posted up onto that opposite arm. You don't have to do this full switch, but just get onto that other arm. You just have to roll over. Yeah, a little easier. And yeah. begin. All right, again, reaching through, making sure your elbow and your shoulder are in line and your core is straight. You don't have that hip sinking or too high in the air either. That's right. Get a good reach through every time. And breathe, folks. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, it's halfway done already. Two down, two to go. That's right. We got to use our 10 seconds to flip over. <laughs> it's the only bad part. And begin. I can't just lie there and take a quick 10 second nap. Ooh, a nap. Maybe I'll hit one of those up later. All right, folks. Come on, pushing it. Everything you got right here. Breathe. Feel the core working, those obliques working. In three, two, one, and break. Oh, excellent. All Come right. on. Put on over. Three down. Not much left to go. One Ready? to go, everybody. And begin. Whew. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Come on. No rest for you, Coach Kozak. No rest for me. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Anybody else can, can relate to that one? <laughs> But you made time for your workout today. That's right. You can be proud of yourself for that. In three, two, one, and break. Uh, oh, nice just work. like okay. that. Those are over. Okay, we're up on our feet. We need, I'm gonna grab one dumbbell for this one. And I'm gonna have no dumbbells for this next move. It's a light dumbbell. We're gonna do a, either a dumbbell or a no dumbbell, straight arm jack. Start with my arms and hands in rack position. Feet are together. I'm gonna bring my arms straight up. Jump out, return. So, so it's like a straight arm jumping jack. <sighs> All right, here we go, 20 seconds. And three, two, one, let's do it. And if you want something low impact for this particular movement, just do this. One leg out to the side after another, but keeping that intensity up. So you make this workout work for you. No two bodies are the same. That's right, and three, two, one, Break. Whatever you do, pushing yourself to the very end right here. That's it. Because you're worth it. You're worth it. You're here for yourself today. Getting a little bit better. And begin. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Just 20 seconds. Come on. How many can you get? Light ground contacts. Again, you're a bouncy ball, not a rock. Here we go. So close. And three, two, one and break ah, okay two down two to go come on pushing it to the end right here just take this 20 seconds at a time that's it what do you got left put it all out there and begin come on let's go has to try don't quit when it hurts we're gonna stop when we're done almost there pushing through to the end let's go in three two one Break. 
All right, last Ooh. one. Right here, right now. Put it all out there. Empty that tank out. That's right. This is what you came for. Come on and begin. Here we go, here we go. Last 20 seconds. Come on, so close. Not only improving our physical strength, but our mental strength right here. Getting stronger with every one. Getting closer to that goal with every rep. Let's do it. In five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Nice work out there, Hasfit Tribe. You are done. Nice, nice work. workout. Boom. Time for the easy part. We're gonna do a little cool down. And the purpose of our cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly. And we get some added mobility work in, which is so important. Yep, absolutely. We're, we're gonna start with the tand the tanding, a standing <laughs> toe touch plus cactus arms. Whew, it's almost like my brain isn't working at right. a high level right now. I'm not sure why. Yeah, so okay. short circuiting. <laughs> All right. Shoulder width apart. Let's go ahead and touch our toes. Just a very slight bend in our knees, reaching all the way over. Can't touch your toes. You can touch your shins or your knees. Just reaching as far down as you can. And then we're gonna stand up slowly with the straight arm. Arms all the way overhead. And then pull down on those elbows. That's our cactus arms. And we're gonna repeat. Nice and slow and controlled here. All that fast movement that we were doing. That period of the workout is over. Now it's time to focus on bringing our heart rates down slowly. Touching those toes is gonna give us some spinal mobility, hamstrings, calves, and then- Ooh, glutes. And glutes, and then our shoulders feel good. Whoo, with that cactus arm. One last one here. Again, just nice and slow. Nice controlled breathing here. Excellent, all right. We are gonna to move to the floor for the next one. It is called a kneeling hip flexor stretch. I'm gonna come down, put my right knee on the floor. Left knee's up at a 90 degree angle. Placing both hands on my hips here. I'm gonna tighten my glutes, then tighten my abs. And with both of those remaining tight, I'm gonna gently lean forward and I'm gonna hold. If you're keeping these tight, it's not gonna take a lot of range of motion. to feel a big stretch in your hip flexor and your quadricep there. Big deep breaths. Not just from our, our workout that would cause these muscle groups to be tight, but just our day-to-day -day lives. Spending a lot of time sitting down, hip flexors get tight. It's a great way to loosen them up. And relax. Okay, same move. Let's go ahead and switch to the opposite side now. Bring that right leg up. And okay, now let's squeeze our glutes, squeeze our abs. And we're gonna gently come forward. Again, doesn't take a lot of range of motion. If I didn't tighten those, I could really come forward, but I don't want to do that. I want to concentrate on that hip flexor and quadricep. And one side might be a little tighter than the other, and that's completely normal. That's, that's very true. Don't be alarmed if that's the case. Lifestyle habits and a lot of other factors at play here. For three, two, one, zero. All right, we're going to finish up with one of my favorite moves, it's called a page turner. So let's go ahead and lie down on our side. I'm on my left side, put my left straight arm out. My left leg is gonna be straight. Right leg with the bent knee comes up over and then I'll bring my hands together. So we're gonna open the book, hence the name page turner. Go ahead and rotate, follow that hand with your eyes all the way and then slow and control back. Try to keep that right knee down as well. So don't allow that right knee to rotate with your torso. Great minds think alike. I totally agree. It would make this a lot easier if you just let that knee come up. But you definitely want to try to keep it on the ground and force that stretch. This one's going to loosen up our back, our hips, shoulders, chest, all at the same time here. It's important that not only we get, you know, kind of traditional mobility, but we get this rotation mobility as well. Sometimes it's left out. Maybe two more here. Breathe. And if your range of motion isn't quite where ours is, that is completely okay. Just keep coming back. Don't be discouraged by that. And I promise you'll get so much better at these. Agreed. Last one here. Close your book. Very good. Okay, now we just same move. Let's just flip over to the other side. You can probably just roll over. Yep, you got a, <laughs> a little more difficult for me here. And I gotta move my mic pack too, so we got a little 
That's the last thing I want is that thing in my hip bone there. Oh, okay, I did it. All right, and begin. Sorry for that momentary interruption, folks. <laughs> Good full range of motion. Hope you had fun with us today. We really enjoyed working out with you, pushing ourselves with you today. A moment for you to just take a moment of affirmation here, a second to give yourself a little pat on the back for showing up, putting in the work today. You know, believe it or not, the workout is the hard part. It's the discipline. It's the consistency. It's the accountability. Those are all the things that are going to help you accomplish your goals. And you showed up today, and you should be proud of yourself for that. You don't have much left here, folks. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Close that book for one final time. Ah, you can stay down on the floor. We got to stand up to close <laughs> here. Thank you so much for working out with us today. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete fitness program? Those programs can be located on the HasFit app, which you can download to your Apple or Android device, but you can also find them on HasFit.com. You can also support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, like a fresh new t-shirt, or our diet guide, <laughs> Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Again, thank you so much for showing up and working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.